So a quick exploratory testing tips video for using Postman with an API through a proxy and using the proxy's ability to amend responses before they come back into Postman to help me do some testing. I've started the proxy. I've used Firefox and put a Foxy proxy on to make sure requests were going through the proxy. Then I started up Postman Postman started going through the proxy fine. So I think when you're using Postman and you want to configure the proxy, make sure the proxy is running first, that you don't start Postman in normal mode, that you start it directly going through the proxy, then Postman seems to work fine. In Postman over here, you can see I've got a request. I've also got the console up. So if I do view in here, show Postman console. And what the console does, started investigating this because of a tweet through Danny Denton on Twitter reminded me of its existence so I thought I'd look at this in a bit more detail uh, so we may as well compare some of the output from this to what we see through the proxy as well because that would be useful so let me just clear this so we've got postman the console the proxy okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this request through which is a local host get on lists the 127.0.0.1 just a get which responds with the xml this is all correct or is it? So you can see that Postman has got these X's in here. So it's saying expected tag name got question mark. HTML doesn't support processing instructions. And it's true, it's not HTML, it's XML. And this is default to HTML. Why is that? So that's probably a bug in the REST service. It's probably not sending back headers telling Postman interpret this as XML. So let's have a look at the request we sent. Now let's have a quick look in the console first. So the request we sent through has headers say an application XML, except encoding gzip deflate. Let's have a look at the actual request here. No cache, postman token, except XML, runtime, gzip, close. So I've got an extra header in here that is not actually shown here. So this is telling me that this console is useful, but I still want to go through a proxy to see the exact request sent. But this is still very useful, it's still very helpful. And we can see in the response headers that the content type in the response is text HTML. Now, is that actually what is sent? Well, let's have a look in the response. Content type text HTML. So that's a bug, right? Because we've asked for application XML and really we're getting text HTML back, which means that Postman then is defaulting to HTML in its pretty print view. We don't want that. So let's do a quick check of that assumption to make sure that if we do get XML back, Postman will work because Postman will be a really useful tool if when I use it, I can use these little X's to tell me if there's any obvious problems. And in there we can see the header sent back text HTML. So. Let's have a quick look at this. What I'm going to do is in the options for burp, because different proxies do this in different ways, so this one is shown burp. The intercept client request, I'm going to switch the server intercept to be on there. Then in the intercept, I go intercept is on. So the intercept is configured to intercept only the server responses. So I'm not intercepting the client response requests which we're sending in, I'm intercepting the server responses which are coming back. So if I send this again, it's sent the request, there we go, intercept is on here, there's the request that's coming back. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna turn this application slash XML and then forward that through and look at that. So now this is rendering in pretty print mode correctly based on the XML type that we sent through. And there's no X's here. So I can use Postman to give me a little bit more uh, information about the request coming back and it's telling me that that request was not correctly formatted. Last time I had four headers, now I've got five. Don't know what the difference is. All right, content length. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> so that content length, I don't think is coming from the proxy. That's not in there. So that's coming in from um, Postman. Hmm. So what I'm finding interesting here is 
the actual requests that I'm seeing in the proxy are different from those that I'm seeing in Postman, which may or may not be good. I don't think Postman should tell me that there's a, a content length header when there isn't a content length header. Okay, regardless. <laughs> Postman, very useful. It showed me errors that I then have to go and fix in the uh, web service. Caution, Postman isn't reflecting exactly what's coming through the proxy. So there's a trade-off here, but I value the error reporting highly and I'm generally going through a proxy anyway, so I've got a safety net. The proxy is where I'm going to look for the raw requests. Postman is where I'm going to look for indications that something is wrong and as a tool to support my testing.